so I'm going to run a little series on YouTube, which is going to go alongside my Instagram, which is uh, my seeds to sow every week. So on, Insta on, on YouTube, I'm going to do a monthly one. So it's a little bit broader and um, it will be seeds to sow at the beginning of each month. Now, it's obviously the middle of February, but that's absolutely fine. The light levels are so much better now than they were at the beginning of February. So um, it's a good time to start sowing if you haven't done already. Um, now, everything that I talk about for this month is to be sown inside. So that's not outside sowing. So no direct sowing at the moment, um, with the exception of broad beans, you can sow those direct. But um, everything else really won't do very well if you start them outside now. It's too cold, so it needs to be in a module or a tray. Um, there's quite a lot of information on my other videos about different sowing techniques, etc. Um, so the things that you can sow this month, we've already mentioned broad beans. Um, they are pretty tolerant of cold. I still start them off in modules. Um, I've got some above me um, in those trays up there. And once they've germinated, they will look, excuse me, um, oh, they look like this. And um, this, I, I did two in here because I was actually testing the compost. Um, but once they've got to this stage, you can then plant them out. Um, and they're fine to plant out now. Some people cover them with a fleece, I don't, but um, that's up to you. So um, yeah, broad beans you can sow. Onions are really good to sow from seed. Um, quite a good success rate of those. I multi-sow them. Um, shallots again, you need to get on with shallots. They do take a long time to um, crack on, but um, yeah, shallots are fine, fine to sow and spring onions. So basically your onion family. Um, Multi-sow them in a module and then they can be planted out in a group as well. So you don't need to split them up. Then we've got beetroot that can be multi-sown. Um, there's turnips, some spinach you can sow now, um, lettuce. If you really like the brassicas, then it's nice to get an early crop in. So you've got uh, this month, you can do cabbages, cauliflowers and calabrese. If you want a really quick crop, then one that you can grow pretty much most of the time is radish. So that's a really easy, fast growing crop to grow. Uh, what else can you grow? Um, celery that's one that's got really teeny seed and um, when you sow it scatter sow on the surface of a pot and don't cover it it really uh, needs light to germinate um fennel that can be sown this month there's kind of two times you can sow fennel it doesn't really like hot weather so um now is a good time and then later on sort of after july that's also a good time to sow and then we've got garlic obviously that can go in the ground this month now a lot of people will have grown garlic at the beginning of uh, at the end of last year which is fine um, this is what's called spring sown garlic and um, if you get it in the ground now you should have good um, harvest a little bit later than the, obviously the ones that were sown last year and um, then you've got herbs now I'm not going to mention every single herb under the planet because uh, there's so much and obviously I will have missed out some veggies that people will be like oh I sow those and then I've got some thyme on the go thyme is something that I use all the time in the kitchen ha, time, time. Um, <clears throat> so I normally just buy plants, but this year I bought some seed and I've germinated that. I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so, there. So that's germinated quite well. It's been on the hotbed. So most of the things that I've talked about today, I've germinated on heat. And um, they do much better if you can give them a, a boost to get going. Um, it's... It's one of those tricky things that people don't want to spend the electricity to to sow stuff. And I obviously understand that, but the germination rate is so much better. Um, once they've germinated, the seeds can, some of them, um, depending on what they are, come off the heat and then sit um, just in a warm area, but in an ambient temperature, they don't need to stay actually on a heat mat. So if I just try and turn the camera around, it, these ones here, you can see, what have I got? So I've got onions, some lettuces, oh, there we go. Some spring onions, loads of different brassicas and some borage. And these are the coriander. And then over there, I've got beetroot hiding under there. Now, none of that is on heat. Um, they've all germinated. So they're just sitting there growing on and they'll be planted out from those modules whenever ready um, or pricked out whatever stage they're at.
so that's it uh, oh not forgetting peas um peas are one of those things where if you sow them now and sow them um i just put chuck a handful very easy chuck a handful in the pot and um obviously cover them with compost they germinate and they're brilliant for shoots so it's really nice to get that kind of fresh green um flavor that add them to risottos or salads um um yeah so so grow those now next month you can sow them and then leave them to grow and then they'll form pods and then you can have your obviously your lovely fresh peas later on but for this month if you want to get some peas in it's a it's a good time to just uh, get a few pots going um and i think that's it i hope that's it um uh, so there we go that seeds to sow in february i'll be doing another one at the beginning of march and um yeah excuse for the uh, excuse me for the rookie <laughs> novice videoing it's just my phone held on a pot so um yeah i'm not very good at that kind of thing but i hope you enjoyed the video oh and i almost forgot um some of you may or may not know i do seed subscriptions so uh, this small little shameless plug um sorry not sorry uh yeah so for people that aren't sure what to say when i do a monthly uh, seed subscription service where i send out seeds at the right month to sow so you won't get all of the seeds I've just mentioned, um, but I choose a selection for you and you'll get them through the post at the beginning of each month um, in the right month to sow them. And it just helps people um, structure their planning. So it can be quite overwhelming, quite daunting when you're um, starting out growing or when, you want, when you've got new allotment or something like that, because it's, um, you know, there's so much to sow in these few months, especially. So Mar uh, February, March, April, May, that is a really big sowing time and there's a lot to get in the ground and you've got to you know prick things out and blah, blah, blah. so um it's just a way of helping people structure um it doesn't become overwhelming and you can kind of just do a little bit at a time which is why also those weekly things on instagram work quite well because it just helps people break it down a little bit um so if you're interested in joining up on the seed subscriptions they're really economical um, it's all biodegradable packaging and most of the seeds are saved from my own seed so they are uh, not tampered with and they are really good quality um, then head over to my website which is www.queenofseed.co.uk there's also a link on my instagram page and i think if i've done it right there's a link on youtube so um anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you next month